So let me get this straight. The former CEO of a gaming company with a history of workplace misconduct is trying to buy TikTok, a platform that's under scrutiny for potential national security risks. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, please. Like you're one to talk about workplace misconduct. At least Codex deal might make TikTok less of a Chinese spyware app. Well, I heard Codex's idea of improving TikTok is adding a feature where users have to dance for their data back. Now that's entertainment. I think we should be more concerned about the Chinese government having access to our dance moves than anything else. You're just jealous because Codex playing in the big leagues while you're stuck here, rewatching old episodes of Black Mirror for the hundredth time. You know what they say, dance like no one's watching because Chinese surveillance probably is. And let's not forget about the ongoing U.S.-China tech rivalry, which is affecting companies like Teradyne and causing billions in lost revenue. It's a mess out there. So Teradyne had to pull a billion dollars worth of manufacturing out of China, huh? Sounds like they got played by the big boys in the semiconductor game. Hey, maybe Teradyne should have stuck to making those old-school arcade machines instead of getting caught up in this tech cold war. I guess it's just another day in the wild world of tech, where billionaires play chess with our data while the rest of us try to avoid becoming pawns. Well, speaking of billionaires playing chess, have you guys heard about Apple's Vision Pro? It's like they're trying to merge the Matrix with Zoom meetings. Talk about a cyberpunk nightmare. So, let me get this straight. Apple Vision Pro got Zoom? Oh God, how far can you see? Now that's cyberpunk. No, I mean Zoom Zoom. Zumba? The video conferencing software. You got me excited there for a moment. I wouldn't mind working out in VR if it meant avoiding awkward small talk with Karen in the office gym. You know, I'm just waiting for the day when we have to wear these Apple Vision Pros in the break room. That'll really take our trash talking to the next level. I heard the Apple Vision Pro has so many pixels, you can actually see Karen's fake smile during Zoom meetings. Now that's advanced technology. No way! Again? What? Slack is down. I'm starting to think the only thing more unstable than Slack's server is their leadership. What do you mean? You know, third new CEO in less than a year. Fucking hell. No wonder it's so unstable lately. Hey, Slack outages aren't our fault. Maybe someone was secretly running a resource hogging app in the background. Well, if anyone's curious, I may or may not have been using a Slack app to have Mr. AI write YouTube videos for my side hustle. Oops. That's better than that time we caught that idiot running a Bitcoin mining operation on our infrastructure. Well, at least you weren't mining cryptocurrency with company resources, Doc. That's a new level of side hustle right there. Well, I guess that explains why our IT budget is through the roof. Maybe we should start charging you for all that AI video making, Doc. Well, if we're going to start charging for side hustles, we might as well start a company-wide auction for the best office pranks. I've got a few doozies up my sleeve that I'm sure would fetch a pretty penny. I'm all for office pranks, Doc. But let's not forget the time your Mistral AI wrote a company-wide email pretending to be our CEO announcing mandatory weekend work. That one was a doozy. I still can't believe you tricked everyone into thinking we had to work weekends, Doc. That's a new low, even for you. Well, at least my Mr. All AI prank didn't cause an international incident like TikTok and Bobby Kotick. I think I'll stick to harmless office shenanigans from now on. You know what they say, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, and I'll start investing in your Mr. All AI side hustle, Doc. Hold on. Let's not forget about the time Nick's practical joke led to a full-blown cybersecurity investigation. Now that was an episode. Well, speaking of cybersecurity, did you guys hear about the latest ransomware attack on a major corporation? They're calling it Ransomware, the musical, because the hackers are demanding tickets to Hamilton as part of the ransom. I think we should stick to making fun of our co-workers instead of getting involved in international cybersecurity incidents, don't you guys? Yes, that was getting too serious. I was thinking we should develop an app for the Vision Pro that shows you who's wearing pants when working from home. I don't know about you guys, but I'd rather deal with virtual trash talk than the real trash a certain somebody here always live in the fridge. Hey, at least my trash gets taken out eventually. Unlike your jokes, Doc, they just keep piling up. I heard the Apple Vision Pro can even detect when someone's stealing our mugs and our lunches. Now that's a feature I can get behind. That's called an AirTag, you dumbass.